go. Hello, everybody. I'm yes. here. Yes. I'm here playing. Um. <laughs> whatever this is called. Um, the Stanley Parable. That's what it is. So this is apparently really good, and Zoxidic will not talk until I when I tell him not to talk. Cause he's doing his let's play and I'm doing mine. So this is really short apparently. I avoid uh, all spoilers, so I have no idea what this is about other than some guy named Stanley and a cool British narrator. Oh don't talk. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number four two seven. Four two seven. Employee number four two seven's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room four two seven and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Yeah. Orders came to him through a monitor next to his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what a weird keyboard. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. Very sick. Others might have considered it so no. they relished every moment that they were Why does he relish it? And Stanley was happy. Put it on a hot dog. Okay, hang on, I think... Wait, no. Very peculiar something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never... A gun! He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on a monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions. Maybe it's Sunday? Saturday? Oh. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Gladys! Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk uh. and walked out into the hallway. Yeah, okay, I'll go do that. Woo! Who lived? Oh, wait, is that my job too? Okay, well, it's yeah, toxic. Yeah, yeah, you can talk. So, I. Yay. So, if there are any enemies, this is not normal. I don't know. I can't even jump. Okay, well, guys. Since it's having come back. To build stairs up to upstairs. No! Yeah. No! Dang it! I don't know if I showed them. I have to show them. <laughs> I just locked myself in. To the cave. <laughs> wow, you're smart. I am! <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's restart that. What the heck? That was such a fail. I locked myself in. <laughs> click, wow. click the skip. I. That's. It'll let me skip in a second, guys. Oh, it skipped. Yeah, I'm not gonna close that door. GTFO. GTFO. Stanley decided to go to the staff lounge to check on his co-workers. Weird. He never functioned well by himself, and constantly yeah. needed support and guidance from others. Nah. What are you doing? Was terrifying to him. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, just being Stanley. 426. Uh, well, I always have this narrator telling me where to go. What doors stick out of the room? That's weird. Can I not sprint? Uh, I guess I am kind of impaired or something. It's a better computer than what I have. Uh, I'm jealous. Um. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. What? He entered the door on his left. Why not my right? I'm going to go to my right. La dee 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 da. This was not the correct way to the employee lounge, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. So he turned left at the first. Don't it. Now. And walked back in the right direction. Now. Stanley was so bad at following directions. Shut up. It's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Shut up. Maybe this is why everyone had left. No one wanted to be around someone as bad at listening as him. And since he was walking into the middle of the room and thus burning. Story, Stanley decided that he would punish himself. What? So when he came to the elevator, the doors opened, he stepped inside and pushed the button to go up. Um No I didn't. Well don't see anything that could happen if I stayed here. So how's your game going? Oh Stanley. No You know okay, you really well, I'm gonna show you guys. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I truthfully mean that there isn't a story down here. The story was back up where I told you to go in the first place. Right now, you're just running around looking at empty halls. Yay. Frankly, that's perhaps even more Yay. infuriating for me. So why don't you throw me a bone? 
Give me a chance. What's up, pal? I'll tell the story I want to tell. This brings me down. No way! So I don't have to uh. walk all the way here and get destroyed by like skeletons. Try with a gun. Nope. Why are there no doors down here? What kind of building is this? Oh well. Ooh, door. What? Now listen carefully. This is a boot. Stanley walked through the red door. How about I go through the blue? Uh -huh. What? Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked no! through the red door. No! Ah. Please bet it. Red color. Red means blood. Blue means blue. I still don't think we're communicating. Now. Stanley walked through the red door. Yes! I do. Oh, you didn't make the level yet. It's nothing. No one's even built this section of the map. So, yeah, yeah, I am. It's just a bunch of skyboxes and wall textures. That's it. What? Is this what you were looking for? Yeah. Was it worth ruining the story I'd written out for you? Yeah. I have no idea what he's doing. Well, here you are now, just looking at going or no? Well, I'm like looking at shades. lot of nothing, and you would have been happy. Well, hey, you still need a little something to do. Here, let me load up another map. See if there's something in here that'll keep you occupied. Here's one. Let's boot this. Boot this. In. Okay. We'll see if you like it. Ah! Going out to what? Where am I? How do you get in my house? Am I, am I okay? Why am I lagging? Why is my fist all weird? Am I... am I... Hello? Do I like it? Oh, hey! It's Half-Life 2! Yeah, I love this map. I love this. Well, Stanny, is this any better? I know what I have to do. <laughs> oh! Yeah, that's right. I created a world specifically for you in mind. I wanted to make you a leading man. This one, well, I'm afraid you're on your own now. I don't worry, I don't know where to go. But where is everybody? Oh. Hmm. That's new. Stanley was fat and ugly. Really, really stupid. What? <laughs> no, 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 no. That, or we <laughs> Don't know what to do. No, I'm not. Well, I'm, I'm not walking any slower, though. Sleeping downstairs. Oh, hey, that's me. See, I'm not fat and ugly. I'm Kitty0706. Ah. No. Yeah. <laughs> then, okay. Wait! I don't remember this door. Nope. Okay. Not fat and ugly and stupid. You're stupid! I spent so long talking about you. Why don't we just take a break? Let's do that. Must we die? According to Wikipedia, more than 90% of the night sharks caught off the <laughs> don't I don't care! I don't know where to sleep. I just want to sleep, because every time I sleep, I get killed. <laughs> Hang on. The night sharks? No! Oh, no, of course not. <clears throat> All you want to hear about is yourself, isn't it? No! I just want to... You haven't listened to me once so far. I can't expect you to turn that around now, can I? <clears throat> I'm gonna break stuff. I'm gonna break oh, you! Break this guy. I break everything. I'm gonna. Oh, untextured. Huh. <sighs> is this the end of the line? Yeah. I don't suppose this was a particularly nice. fulfilling experience for you, considering not a single. Wait. I don't Hold think on. I know where my house is. I know it's somewhere around spawn. Woohoo! Whoa. There's a Did rock. Did you just change the moon? Not. Is it the sun? Hey, listen, listen, hey, uh, hey, yeah, shut up! Sun. Did you change the sun? It looks different. Somewhere. Oh, there it is. G-Man! Shower! Where am I? I missed ah. Ah. Oh, there's still a hole. <laughs> I win. Oh, crap! You get torched. <laughs> <right>? <laughs> I win. Ha <laughs> 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 I have a better life. I have one. Um. Hmm. No, three days sleep. Um. You know what? Hmm. Screw this. I'm not.
sleeping anymore. Ooh. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, no. Sleep. How did they? I'll sleep in here. Hmm. Up to you. Let's try that. No one is here. I can't sleep anymore. Darn it. This isn't cool. You do. Boo do. Boo do. Where? It's sad, I know. But all stories must come to an end. I hate you. Of course, they say it doesn't matter anymore. It is not the destination. And I like that idea. To think we might value the paths we walk as much as the places they lead us in. Now, I don't know what sort of story you've ciphered out of that world you've made for yourself. But I hope that being the leading man was everything oh, it's cracked up to be. I know it can be a little hard getting around without someone looking over your shoulder. But this is simply the nature of freedom. Besides, I haven't really gone anywhere. Maybe you Tell me when you want to stop recording, Ken. I think I'll always have a place here at the end of every story. Okay, then. You step in and wrap things up with a nice piece of dialogue and a reflection on life that makes sense of whatever path you've chosen to walk. And for now, I'm happy to be the destination instead of the journey. But only for now. No! 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 Nice song. I like this. Well, let's, uh... Oh, dang it. Let's go back to this. Okay, date, don't care. Well, Stanley, is this any better? I don't know why it would be. This map wasn't even made for No. You. At least I created a world specifically with you in mind. I wanted to make you a leading man. Ow, my body. I'm afraid you're on your own now. Can't even jump. Well, this is a pretty awesome mod. I like this. I, s I want... Stanley was fat and ugly. Really, really stupid. He probably only <laughs> got his job yeah. because of connection. That's how stupid he is. That, or with drug money. Also, Stanley's addicted to drugs and hookers. What? I am not addicted to drugs. <laughs> Meow. Look in here. Sprint! Ha! I spent so long talking about you. Why don't we just take a break Where, where's that chair? talk about something else for a change? Let's see. Well, according to Wikipedia, more than 90% of the night sharks caught off northeastern Brazil contain mercury concentrations higher than they're considered safe by the local government. Now, this is fascinating. Don't you want to know more about the night sharks? Oh, actually. No, of course not. What you want to hear about is yourself, isn't it? Well, apparently well, Anthony well, doesn't, so you just answer that for me. So Thanks. Go ahead. I wanted to hear more about the night sharks. <laughs> you jerk. I'm quiet, I just noticed. Yeah, you are. It's mainly me doing okay, the comments. Well, well, this okay, is okay, Minecraft. I'm gonna go pee I'm on sorry a pig guys, now. We haven't, um, I don't suppose this was a the server, the public server, won't be up for a while because Devin's a computer died. Decided to die on him, yeah, when he was playing a game. I bet you can come up with a story. Now, so the server won't be up for a little bit. But in the meantime, we will be doing me and James, maybe Devin, if he gets a new computer or something. I don't know. Uh, me and James will be doing more custom maps, and we already did one. We're gonna upload it soon. At least I am. Maybe you stand in this spot all of eternity to guide and greet other travelers like myself who pass this way, or maybe you just get bored and quit the game. Heck, anything's an ending if that's where you stop playing. But whatever ending and you then, like yeah, I don't, I'm gonna get a bunch help. of wood. You That's your pretty much what I'm doing, cause I'm now almost I out. The and then I'm gonna so, good luck. go down to the beach and make a house. Need it. And I sincerely hope that everyone lives happy. So pretty much what I'm gonna do for my house is this level is gonna be where there's gonna oh, be a oh bunch God. of minecarts. So this <laughs> one's gonna go to my cave, there's gonna be like Wait. another one starting there. Hold going on. down to the beach doing? hut thing I'm gonna make. Then there's going to different places and then there's gonna be one more floor which is gonna yep. be my room which I'm gonna live in with my bed and stuff so I don't die again and again and again by the way the mods I'm using are my mod and what's called more
Trey's mod. Uh, I might get so many yeah, different I'm, endings. I might get there's some other mod I wanted, but I forget what it was. I might get it later on. Saplings. Now we're gonna go back to the beginning after this one. James, have you ever seen my house on Minecraft? Nope. I've never seen your house on Minecraft. Well, I've seen it. I don't know if you still have it anymore, though. No, I don't. Yeah. But you got rid of that. Yeah, I have a lot of wood now. I'm gonna take it all with me. Stanley decided to go to the staff lounge to check on his co workers. Except for these two. Well by himself, and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of total search was a When Stanley Let's came go. to a set of two open doors, Wait. he entered the door of his left. Pickaxe. And a bucket. And a shovel. <laughs> oh, wait, I can't jump, that's right. Some smooth stone. Stanley entered the lounge. He was horrified to find not a single person here. He decided he would walk up to see Let's go. hoping that he would find an answer there. I did not like blow anything up over here. This was Coming all Stanley's, made. Stanley walked right. upstairs to his boss's office. Wait. The game. Oh god. This looks like a perfect spot. I guess. <laughs> but Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, of admitting that he had. Oh yeah, there's also one more mod I'm using. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, was it really worth the taking that risk? Up the fog and stuff, but everyone's gone. Everyone had disappeared. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. Everyone I know, simply vanishing out of the blue, there's almost no other explanation for it. And a nagging fear began to creep up in his mind. Questions that had been there all along, he just hadn't put his finger on them yet. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Perfect. Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Was he just walking around in circles? Where yep. am I? He thought. But the more he found himself unable to answer these questions, the more questions continued to arise, until he came to the issue that had been slowly boiling, until he could ignore it no longer. Why is there a voice in my head, dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Suddenly, every door slammed shut. No! Stanley screamed. I need to get out of here. I need to know that there's something out there. I need to know it's not just all in my head. Oh no. He screamed and clutched at his skull as the voice what? grew harsh oh, and god. the music in the background rose high. Oh god. And then I think it's gonna have uh, two floors. Stanley clenched his fists and screamed to many who might be listening. It's just gonna be a house not with, real. Like, I don't I'm know, not Sam real. And stuff. Don't believe any be of it. None of it's real. Inside. Something like that. Wow. This is the story of a woman named. Are you gonna Ariel. split this into parts? <gasps> I am. It's been pretty long. Do you wanna end it? Hang on. She got dressed, went to work. <laughs> That's why you respond to every question. She walked home. Hold on. But her walk on this day was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Moments after seeing him, she would turn run to the nearest police station and call One more the ambulance. Layer. But for just a few brief seconds, she merely stood there, unable to move. The tragedy was not the death of death. Well, actually, person. it was that she would never know this man. Which should make the top four never hear made out of. Words what had happened to him, or what he believed had happened to him. I know what I'll do. these things would be to exist inside the head of the man himself. Um. All she could do oh was observe oh. from a distance and pity him. But Mariella had places to be, 
The roof is going to be like... Important people. I can't make it yet though, because I have to make one more floor before I put the final roof on. She stood there for only a moment, looking down at the body, and then she ran. Wow. And the final one, I think. The final one is up here. Yeah, perfect. So let's do that. Entering his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. It was at this point that he began to feel dizzy and a little sick, and even thought let's he was out when suddenly he noticed a keypad next to the filing cabinet in the corner. What? No. Stanley had never I don't know what I should what make here. If you want me to make something no here, let me know. And I'll probably like <laughs> say your name, like blah 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 blah. Told me to make this. Since the panel withheld access to the boss's greatest, darkest, secret, secret, secret. What? Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. It was zero. Stanley ventured. Wow. By the way, my skin is a sand creeper. As he drew deep into the bowels of the building, Stanley had no idea where he was or what this place had. And just as he began to think he might not discover a thing, he emerged into a room to find nothing. Oh. Rows and rows of monitors. Screens with a number. Four two seven. There's that. There's where I am. control panel was standing as covered, but not one that controlled simple machinery. Buttons were labeled with emotions, happy, sad, levers and knobs controlled actions, walking, eating, doing work, or watching TV. Every input on this device monitored not the functions of a machine, but of a human being. And the reality began to sink in. Stanley, like so many other people, reduced to images on a monitor, had been under someone's control, always at the mercy of this machine. Could this have been the only reason employee number 427 was content with his boring job? That a machine had altered his emotions to accept him blindly? He began to feel an unbridled rage, and at the peak of his anger, something happened. A spark. Stanley looked up and saw the generator overhead still providing some small amount of power to the machine, keeping it alive. And knowing, knowing that this generator was all that kept the control of run, Stanley yeah, moved to the back the back of the room and began to close the rafters. So well, because I can't see anything else that I would do other than press that, or the red things, but I guess it's rage, which I just activated on myself, I don't know. Yo, wife, so I'm gonna have like so much weed after I'm done collecting. <sighs> We're gonna. The higher Stanley climbed, the closer he felt to freedom. James, when do you wanna end? In it? a second, hang on. This is getting really epic. Because I've already beat this three times. You've already played it? Three times. Um. Uh. Like, I was playing this blind, but. I meant like there. Ah, Engage. Now I have to go plant everything. Forty pieces of wheat and a stack of seeds. Did you? After it kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine. For <laughs> 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 